Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to start using Drupal Commerce for beginners in 2024. Of course, Drupal Commerce is a powerful and also flexible e-commerce platform that integrates seamlessly with Drupal, making it perfect for creating and also managing your online store. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser. For me here, I'm using Brave. For you, you can use it if you want. Once you open it, go to the CRL section basically. And all you need to do is type Drupal. Hit the enter button. Make sure to go to the first link as an example. Or oh, sorry, like just add commerce, yeah. So just add commerce here. And yeah, make sure to go to the first link as an example, which is Drupal Commerce. Click on it, and as you can see, here you'll find yourself with their home screen or main screen websites right away. So as you can see here, you can try the demo if you type on Drupal Commerce. Of course, normally you can just go to Drupal like dot org to download like the last version of Drupal. And you can extract the files of your web server next to the open your web browser, navigate to the website URL and start the installation process. Of course, you can follow the on-screen instructions to set up the database and configure your basic site settings if you want to. So from here, as an example, just click on it. As an example, all you need to do is just go and click on download, of course. And here you'll be able to download it. So of course, you can try a hosted demo or explore hosting, whatever you want. And they'll even here tell you, as you can see, you need the PHP and Composer to run these two commands. As an example, if you don't have it, they'll, you'll see here the installation and configuration of PHP, as an example, and even of Composer. So make sure to have it. If you have it, make sure to run those uh, codes examples. So Composer creates projects Drupal slash recommended projects Drupal and CD Drupal, of course, and PHP uh, memory limits as example. Here you can set the memory limits into that. You can set it to lower than that. I don't recommend it. And you can even set it higher if your server can handle it. So as you can see, web core scripts, Drupal, quick uh, starts and demo, you know me, you know me. And yeah, as you can see, if you want to download like Drupal without Composer, you'll be able to do it here. Here you can uh, download Drupal zip uh, or as an example this one so you can even give your support if you want to by I guess just like uh, giving or donating if you want to I guess or become a ripple maker whatever so as I said here you'll be able even to uh, access the demo first of all if you want to try it out as I said if you want as an example or let me just go back here so basically, once you run those two commands, you'll be able uh, to simply just uh, start the installation process and follow the on-screen like instructions for you. Or you can simply just, as example, download the zip file. Like if you don't want it without like Composer, it's not a problem. Uh, basically, you'll have to download it, extract the files into your web server. If you don't have one, like there's the MAMP and XMAMP, as example, you can use them both. Both will work for you. And of course, then you can open your web browser and navigate into the local host like uh, URL and start the installation process. You can just follow the uh, on-screen instructions. It's going to be very, very easy for you to use without any problems so of course uh, once like the Dr uh, drupal is installed you can simply just go and have access to the back and uh, front end or office example you'll be able to do a lot of stuff you can set up your store add your products configure payments methods configure shipping options uh, like customize your store design managing orders uh, publishing your store you'll be able to do a lot of stuff i'll show you that example here and this demo so example here i'll just go to this dropoutcommerce.org why just to show you out how it's gonna look like once you download it on your PC. So I'll just click here on try demo to show you how it's going to be like. So as example, here you'll have access basically to your front uh, like end of the website. So basically normal thing, like nothing uh, crazy or nothing like unusual. So of course, if you click here on login, you'll be able to log in into it. So for me, I don't have an account. So I'll just go here and create a new account as example. I'll just go here and start by entering a like uh, email address as examples. Very simple. Username, why not? Something like that. And a password, of course. I'll just go here and create like a password. Make sure it's not weak. 
as an example make sure it should be like fair or i don't know strong depending on whatever you want as example so this seems good as example here i'll just go and do this then click on create a new account and i'll have access of course normally ba basically to the back end of it so example if you go here and click on this catalog as example you'll be able to see the catalog that you have uh, maybe as example if we go and click on this one as you can see you'll be able to see here uh, the front end all of it if you click on menu as example you'll be able to have access to basically just home and catalog if you go here and click on my account so here I'll be able to see the payments methods that you have as an example. Here you can add some payments methods, example like credit card authorized uh, through authorized.net or through brain tree or as an example uh, through example or through PayPal or basically through Square, depending on whatever suits you. And yeah, as an example, you can even add just PayPal. And just fill up here your information like your country first name last name uh, company not necessary of course everything that does not have this red like star you don't have to fill it out it's just optional if you want to add it once you fill up all those information examples so i'll just here fill up some random informations like uh, tests uh, i don't know like sister here uh street address i'll just add something i have here and click on save as an example and this will be added uh, added as a payment method of course this is just a demo so don't mind it if it didn't add this of course here you can click on edit this example and edit anything that you want maybe in here if you have any orders you'll be able to see it in here and yeah that's gonna be uh, basically or that's gonna summarize it up yeah basically that's it so it seems like uh, here you can have access to the front end uh, of your demo i don't know if you can uh, because we did not access like the back end i don't know if you can access the like the back end of your uh like uh of their website or something like that it does not seem like it so it seems like the only option if you want to access the back end is simply just uh through downloading like the drupal uh through this uh, or through as we said example through those two commands or if you want to simply just download the zip click on download as you can see download it and extract the files and go through the installation process very very easily so that's going to be it for me today i hope you like this video thank you for watching if you have any issues you can always leave it down below in the comment section i'll try to do this as soon as possible thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye